<laughs> Trustee Huber. Aye. Trustee Markajan. Here. And um, Mayor Alexander is here. And we're missing Trustees Catalano, uh, Lammers, and Pimessa. All right. I see that you're in the meeting room, but the trustees all have to be um, shown and present. Hi. Here. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, how are you? Can everybody hear me? Yes. Okay. I don't even know what, how much you heard. I don't know what happened, but let the record reflect that we're on the first matter still which is the 25 South Remsen. And um, we have not had any action. So I'm just gonna summarize what just occurred. Um, time's now 2.45 PM. So uh, Brian Murphy and I had a call on this today and um, it was determined that after he solicited two bids on this particular property, um, it was determined we were going to, he was going to ask the board to consider a cap of costs um, that's consistent with the prior resolution that was passed by this board after a public hearing on August 26, 2020. All right, I wanted to read the pertinent language of that resolution that was, was in the um, record so that we can make a motion to modify that language um, so that the billing uh, department can have jurisdiction and oversight rather than the highway department. And the page that I'm referring to is the second page. There's two be it resolved paragraphs that directed the enforcement official to dispatch the highway department to remove the obnoxious growth and the offending um, condition ish, uh, conditions at the subject property at 25 South uh, Remsen. So I'm asking the board to strike the, um, the enforcement official as the highway department and to substitute that language for the building department uh, to oversee uh, the administration and enforcement costs involved in a remediation. So uh, Mayor, if you can um, you know, make that motion or have somebody make the motion. Okay, can we get a motion? I'll make it. Oh, so we got a motion made by Trustee Huber. Second. Second by Trustee Misnick. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And I'll vote yes on that as well. Okay, can you take a roll call since we have just barely over? We just Trustee have Misnick. Aye. Trustee Huber. Aye. Trustee Markajan. Aye. And I will vote aye. Okay. So, Mayor, I wanted to read into the, the record the resolution that was passed by the, the trustees said as follows. Be it further resolved that in the event that the highway department, and we just nixed that language, we're, gonna, um, we're going to insert building department, is unable to remove the overgrown weeds and obnoxious overgrowth that exists throughout the property the enforcement official is authorized to engage the services of a landscape contractor to undertake such work as expeditiously as possible, which is not sub subject to competitive bidding. And toward that end, Brian Murphy got the, solicited those two um, bids and he has asked the board to consider capping the cost for remediation at $4,500. Um, one of the bids was like, in the 3000 range and the other bid was in the $4,200 range. It's my understanding that um, in his discretion, he'd rather go with the cheaper bid uh, based on, on uh, what he believed, you know, to be, uh, you know, in his discretion, a, a better outfit suited for the job. So having said that, Brian, is there anything you want to add regarding the um, solicitation of bids? Uh, no, I, I, that, that sums it up. Um, I, I think the, uh, the second bid, uh, you know, will suffice that that contractor would, you know, will be qualified to do it. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. 
So we need the contractor name. Oh, Greener Pastures. Okay. And the amount is? Greener Pastures Landscaping and Property Maintenance. Okay. And for no more than 4,500? Then no more than 4,500, correct. Okay. Could I get a motion? Thank you. So we get a motion by Trustee Huber, second. Second by Trustee Markajan. Trustee Markajan? Yes. Trustee Huber? Yes. Trustee Nusnik? Uh, yes. Yes. And I vote yes. Okay. So the motion passes 4 0. And um, then and Brian Murphy will now engage in services to get the work done. Um, yeah, the, uh, the village clerk has to um, he has to mail the resolution that I prepared. Well, we're going to have to have the new the resolution with the substituted language mailed to the property owner. Okay, so I'll prepare that with those changes from the highway department to the uh, building department as the oversight official. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Next one. Okay, Brian, North um, Street. Yeah, hey, I, I, one quick, um, would we be able to change on 25 Southern South Remsen, the last paragraph, be it further resolved, the village clerk is directed to mail the annexed order of abatement. Can we have that served by um, a police department? Or does it have to be mailed if we're going to amend it to maybe address the, the owner? Well, we're going to, I mean, the, the resolution and the, and, the, and the statute calls for a determination of costs and allows the property owner to challenge it. So we're not going to know what the costs are until after the job is done. All right. At that moment in time, we're going to serve him with the determination of costs. If he fails to pay it within the statutory period of time, it will then go on as taxes in the tax rule. No, I, I understand that. What I was saying, though, is the resolution, since we need to remail it to the no, owner. So, Brian, just remail it and we'll also serve it. Okay, perfect. Yeah. All right. Is, is there any further action on that? No. So, uh, do you want to update us on North Street, Craig? Okay. Brian, go ahead. Okay. Um, 10 North Street, um, I uh, will be issuing new uh, order to remedy violation notices um, by the end of the week to the owner. Um, and we're going to be citing the uh, New York State Property Maintenance Code as, as well as the new Chapter 114, our Property Maintenance Code. Um, and that that's really the only update that I have since the... Uh, board meeting on Thursday. Um, I have not been able to get by there and uh, see if anything else has been cleaned up since then. But we are, are going to re- uh, Okay. Re- uh, Reserve. Re yeah, you know, rewrite some violation notices along. The New York State Property Maintenance Code um, has, has a large, lot larger um, monetary uh, enforcement section. So we're going to use them both. Okay. So um, Brian, why don't you talk to us about 8 Trabucco, please? Okay. 8 Trabucco is a property. Can I share a screen? That's good. All right. Before you know, uh, Mayor, before we do this, just a little uh, necessary background. There was a public hearing in this matter, the date of which was uh, August 26, 2020 as well. These pictures were shared at the public hearing and the board deferred action uh, to, you know, uh, try to avoid the unnecessary expense to the landowner. And I understand that uh, we had our public officials reach out to the landowner to try to get that individual to remediate the property and um, has failed to do so to date. We on H. Trabucco? That's H. Trabucco, yes. So in the interest of fairness, I kind of wanted to reopen the public hearing only for the purpose of summarizing the condition of the property so that the new trustees are aware of 
of the condition of the property and, and you know what you're voting on, okay? So having said that, Brian, you, you know, you, why don't you just raise your right hand um, and you understand that you're under oath, you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth in this um, hearing uh, to, to describe the uh, condition of the property as you recently observed it. I do. Okay. So why don't you tell the, uh, the board as to okay. uh, what you observed. So uh, on uh, August 11th, or on August 10th at approximately 2.30 in the afternoon, um, we were out to uh, a Trabuffalo place for uh, receiving numerous complaints from neighbors for uh, high grass, obnoxious growth, um, and uh, a, a, a dead tree, what appeared to be a dead tree at the time. Um, during that time, we, we took numerous pictures of the high grass, uh, poison sumac trees uh, and the obnoxious growth throughout the entire rear of the property, not not so much in the front of the property. Um, we had uh, come back, we, we had written an order to remedy violation notice along with pictures and mailed them certified to the owner who received them and signed for them on Uh, August 18th, um, Mrs. Durand received uh, the uh, certified letter and um, we have not uh, heard anything from her. Um, right, that, Brian, the before you go any board. further, I, I forgot to have the, the board vote to, to reopen the public hearing. So I'm sorry? Can I get a motion? Mayor, can I get a motion to just reopen the public hearing? Matt, you have to unmute yourself. Okay, so could I get a motion to open the public hearing? Reopen the public hearing. Second. Second to reopen the public hearing. All those in favor? Aye. Trustee Markajan, Trustee Huber, Aye. Trustee Nisbet. And tr Matt. Okay. Sorry about that. Continue, please, Brian. Okay. You want, I, I will. I will step back. So on August tenth, two thousand and twenty, at approximately two thirty in the afternoon, we were out to eat Trabucco for we had received numerous complaints about high grass, obnoxious growth, poison sumac, and just an unkept property. Um, we went out. We took pictures. Came back to the office. Wrote our order to remedy violation notice. And on that notice, it had uh, a, um, a paragraph uh, uh, directing the uh, property owner, if they chose to have a public hearing in front of the village board on August 26, 2020 at 5 p.m. Um, and at that time, we sent it registered. We have proof of mailing. We have proof that she signed for it. And we have not heard from her since well, well, after that. We, we, we have not had any contact with the uh, owner of the property. So at this time, it's my recommendation that we, uh, con we, we go get a contractor um, to clean up the property and put a cap on it not to exceed $3,000. Right. Before you do that, can you just show the, um, the board again the condition of the property? and advise if the condition has changed since you took those pictures? Um, yeah. I, um, the host needs to allow me to share my screen, please. Mayor, do you have the pictures? No, go ahead, Brian. Okay, there we go. Okay. So are you, you seeing the violation notice now? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so here's the violation notice that was mailed to um, the property owner. Fourth paragraph down was where it uh, instructed her about the public hearing in front of the village board. Um, the, the first picture was just as an identification of the property. Um, the second picture is, it speaks for itself. This is the rear of the property at the end of the driveway. Um, this is the side of the property. We also cited her for an unsafe condition. The stairs have collapsed. We'll be addressing that with um, 
order to remedy violations in the future using the New York State Property Maintenance Code. Um, here's more property of, you know, more pictures of just the rear of the property. Um, to give you a little perspective, right behind those trees are Veterans Park, which is, has the clubhouse and the, uh, and the barn, and you can't see through it at all. No, I've seen these already. Yeah. Um, this is the driveway. This, we're not, this is not part of what I'm asking to have removed right now, but this is piles of two by 10 and two by 12 of framing lumber in, and, you know, it's just been there and it's deteriorated and it's now turning into a hazard, uh, combustible material and, but I, I'm not looking to have that removed yet. Um, and that's basically the condition of the property has only gotten worse. These pictures were taken on August 10th. And that's, uh, that's that there. Then what I could show you is here is the, uh, the, the proof of uh, service. Um, you know, uh, the owner's name is in the middle of the page. The top right is the postage time, August 11th. Um, here's the return. The, the green card coming back to us. It's just scanning it in. We don't scan it green to save money. Um, it was signed for on the 18th. It got back to us on August 31st. And as far as meeting all of our obligations um, per the code we have, and I uh, recommend that we move forward and clean up the back of this property. Again, I'm not exceeding with a cap of $3,000. Okay, could we have a motion from the board? Second. Second. Seconded by Trustee Nisnik. All those in favor? Trustee Aye. Nisnik? Aye. Trustee Huber? Aye. Trustee Markajan? Aye. And I say aye. Okay, so the next item on the agenda, we're going to adjourn to the next meeting, which is Wednesday, October 28th. The um, Village has been working with Central Hudson on the placement of a uh, regulator on village property, and it still has not been determined by Central Hudson uh, design and engineering exactly how much space they need. So we, we don't have enough information to put the easement together, but they are working on that and we will get that information. Um, we, so, uh, the next item on the agenda is from some public input, which was received on October 14th for the village board meeting. And there was a resident who was concerned about trash cans overflowing on West Main and parking needs to be enforced. Uh, Trustee Huber said he would provide follow up and report same on October 20th at the special board meeting. You have about the feet about garbage to pick up on in the village. It would be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so they'd be driving around Okay, so they're going to increase the um, pickup of garbage uh, along that corridor. Are they going to do East Main at the same time? They're going to do all of them at the same time. So Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Okay, um, so we are still waiting to take possession of the parking lot at Franny Reese Park, and we hope that that will um let up give us more space for parking we do understand that there was another comment that came in that talked about the need for parking and uh work was done over the weekend by the contractor um so we apologize for that miscommunication and uh we hope that the parking will be opened up at franny reese parking lot um yeah. soon we're just waiting for them to finish some open items at that location so at this time, I'd like to ask if there's any uh, public input from anyone that's on this call. Let the record show there's no public input uh, at this meeting. And could I get a motion to adjourn the October 20th special village board meeting? Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. And I vote aye as well. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Everyone.